thank you for joining me for Hope for Today. I'm Danette Crawford, and I'm so excited about my new teaching series that I'm doing entitled Keep Believing. This is a part of a teaching that I go over in my new book, Limitless Thinking, Limitless Living. If you've not yet got a copy, I want to encourage you to get a copy, whether it's at your local Christian bookstore or go online, go to Barnes & Noble. You can go to our website, but get a copy for you, get a copy for your family, for your friends. It really is a now word, a now word of hope and encouragement for us. God wants us to have limitless thinking so we can step into that place of limitless living. You know, God has an abundance abundance of blessing for us, but we'll never get there if we have wrong thinking. God wants you to think right. He wants you to think like he thinks. You know, God is a big God and he thinks big. You've got to keep believing in order for you to have the mindset of Christ. God says, keep believing for all of the promises of God. And I want to encourage you today to keep believing for the resurrection of your total turnaround. I believe that some of you are in the midst of situations and circumstances where you need a miracle turnaround. And God God is saying, just keep believing. See, you know what? There's resurrection power that is ours. It's available to us. It's the resurrection power that raised Christ from the dead. And the Bible says that that resurrection power, it lives in us. We have that power available to us. And God wants to resurrect today. He wants to resurrect dead dreams. He wants to resurrect dead visions in your life. He wants to resurrect dead relationships. Maybe today you have something in your marriage and it just seems dead. God says that there's nothing too big for him. Just keep believing God can resurrect those things that look dead. God is a God of the resurrection. Let's look at John chapter 11, verse 25 to 26. And it said, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies and whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? God wants you to believe in the resurrection power of Christ and that power that lives in us that is powerful enough to resurrect dead dreams and dead visions. Maybe today God promised you something 25 years ago and you are on the verge of quitting and giving up. You're on the verge of thinking it's never going to happen. You know, true story. God well, I wouldn't tell you anything that wasn't a true story. It's a true story. It's a personal true story. God told me that somebody was going to buy me a car. And it was in a situation, in a circumstance when my baby girl was little and it looked like a hot mess. And I was driving this old piece of junk car. And God said, somebody's going to get you a new car. And he told me one day to go pick out what I wanted. And so I went and I picked out what I wanted and I got the business card of the car salesman and I kept it in my purse and I kept it for about two years. And it was about two weeks before God manifested my miracle that I was cleaning out my purse one day and I saw that card and I said, oh, this is never going to happen. My car had just broke down. I didn't see any way that the promise of God was going to be fulfilled. And here I was in doubt and unbelief. And I said, I'm just going to throw this card away. And I had the card hanging over the trash can and the Holy Spirit said, don't stop believing. I want to encourage you today. Don't stop believing. Keep believing for the promises of God because you are so close and God has the power to resurrect that dead dream, that dead promise. Do you know what? It was about two weeks later that I got an email that came into my office. My assistant brought me the email. It was somebody that I didn't even know. They said that they had met me at a big revival meeting in California. They said, God told me to bless you. They said, you're a single mom yourself and you bless everybody else. And God told me to bless you and I want you to go and pick out whatever you want it whatever you want and do you know it was the same they took my zip code from the television program and they googled it and they went and they got the number of the Lexus dealer that I had been to the same exact place now that's not a coincidence that is God resurrecting what seemed to be dead and do you know what I went and picked out what I got they wired the money and I had it cash 
totally paid. Let me tell you, God is resurrecting dead dreams and dead visions, but you must keep believing. If the enemy can get you to quit and give up, if the enemy can cause you to think that it's never going to happen, and if you get into doubt and unbelief, it probably never will happen. But you need to stand in faith and keep believing today. Pick up your phone. Let us minister to you. 757-420-2625. Don't stop believing. God has a miracle with your name on it. And God has resurrection power. He's going to resurrect dead things in your life. Let's look at Galatians chapter four, verse four and five. But when time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law to redeem those under law that we might receive the full rights of sons. Can I tell you what? God never does anything until time fully comes. See, it wasn't God's time had not fully come. I had been standing in faith and believing God for a long time, but time hadn't fully come. God never sent his son or any fulfillment of a promise until time fully comes. So what the situation that you're facing is, time just hasn't fully come. God says, you just got to keep believing until my time fully comes. Well, see, our time comes really quick. Like we believe God for a week and a half or two weeks max. And we're like, okay, God, I'm ready for the fulfillment of the promise. And God says, no, my time is not fully come. But can I tell you when God's time fully comes, suddenly the promises of God are manifested. Maybe today you've been waiting 20 years. God says, keep believing. God says, keep believing. Don't stop believing. God has resurrection power available to you. And you, as you declare the word, as you speak the word, as you speak it out, there's going to be resurrection power on your behalf. And God moves at the speed of suddenly. Let's look at the definition of resurrection. Resurrection is a rising from the dead or a coming back to life. A coming back into notice or use. I believe that God wants his resurrection power operating in you and through you. He wants to resurrect you. He wants to resurrect the vision that you had. That thing that you stopped believing for. That thing where you just said, you know what? It's never going to happen. I believe that God has calls on your life. God has gifts and calls and talents in your life and you haven't seen it manifested yet and you just said, I'm just going to stop believing. God says, no, I've come to resurrect you. See, God's got to resurrect you and he has to resurrect me before he can resurrect the promises because we've got to be resurrected in our faith. We have to be resurrected in our believing and see then when we believe God, then God can move. But we've got to keep believing God. If you're not believing God, if you've just kind of got wishy-washy on your stand in faith, let us minister to you today. Pick up your phone, 757-420-2625, 757-420-2625. Let God resurrect it in your life. Resurrect your believing today. Let's look at John chapter 19, verse 33 through 37. It says, but when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you also may believe These things happen so that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. And as another scripture says, they will look on the one that they have pierced. See, God did not allow, God the Father did not allow them to break Jesus' legs because the word said it. God, the father allowed them and caused them to pierce the side of Jesus when he was crucified for the fulfillment of the word of God. Some of you have words, prophetic words. God has given you promises and you've not yet seen them fulfilled. And God wants you to know today that he does whatever it takes to fulfill his promises. He does whatever it takes to fulfill his word. You simply need to just keep believing. Don't allow anything to keep you from believing. Believing for the promises, believing for the fulfillment of the word, and believing God for the resurrection of things that look dead in your life. 
Right after this quick break, I'm going to be back with the rest of today's teaching. Are you weary or discouraged? Do you have promises and dreams in your heart that have not yet been fulfilled? Well, the Lord wants you to keep believing today. Keep declaring the promises of God and the Word of God over your life. Just keep believing. For a ministry gift of $35 or more, you can receive Danette's new book, Limitless Thinking, Limitless Living, and her complete teaching series, Keep Believing. In her new book, Limitless Thinking, Limitless Living, you will learn... 